Now at Mill Plans gives students a variety of options without the preparation and cleanup of cooking. But dining options are going to look a little bit different this fall. While the state of Tennessee's guidelines on preventing the spread of COVID-19 include no more than 10 people dining together and tables six feet apart, Associate Dean of Students Leah Adenolfi says they have gone beyond those rules at ETSU. We have seen so many institutions close after reopening um, because they've had outbreaks on the campus. Not only are tables limited to just two people six feet apart, each used table is marked with an X until cleaned. Self-serve options have been eliminated, and Adenolfi says staff also mist the area with a chemical substance and deep clean each night. Though remaining wary of the virus, student Caitlin Brown says, It seems like they have a pretty good system going on in there. Uh, they've got somebody working the drink machines, like pre-pouring, and they've got plastic utensils up there. We're just doing everything we possibly can to try to minimize contamination, minimize the spread. Um, and keep students here for as long as we can. Adenolfi notes crowd control and overflow seating has not been needed. With this new sort of online environment, students aren't all coming at the same time anymore. They really are spread out all day long. Though the new measures come with some trade-offs. I think that this is the thing that is um, the most heartbreaking of the whole COVID situation is the fact that we're unable to create community in the way that we have before. But she says students are still finding ways to interact. It's not non-existent, it's just different um, and it's challenging. So we're, we're working real hard to try to overcome some of that. A new option for students is to use a mill swipe at Chick-fil-A, Steak and Shake, or Rogers Buck Mart for to-go options during lunch hours, which helps to reduce foot traffic. The CULP has designated eating areas, and all undesignated areas, such as carpeted areas, require that you wear a mask. Reporting for Buck TV News, I'm Sydney Wright. Welcome to Buck TV News. I'm Brian Lehman with your sports update. As head coach Jason Shea prepares for his debut with ETSU's men's basketball team, we reflect on the day that Steve Forbes began his successful tenure with the Bucks for today's segment of This Week in Buccaneer Athletics. On November 14, 2015, the Bucks hosted the Averett University Cougars in their regular season opener. Geelong Gwynn and TJ Cromer produced 19 points apiece, and junior guard AJ Merriweather logged a couple highlight reel dunks en route to a double-double. The Bucks led by 21 at halftime and scored 60 more points in the second half to give Forbes his first regular season win as a Buccaneer, 107 to 59. Three days, three winners. The 2020 NASCAR Championship weekend is in the books, and Buck TV News' Josh Jarnigan has the story. The 2020 NASCAR season came to a close this weekend with the crowning of three new champions in three divisions at Phoenix Raceway. The NASCAR Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series Championship was decided on Friday night when Sheldon Creed went from eighth to first on an overtime restart to win the championship. The NASCAR Xfinity Series held their championship race on Saturday night. It was Austin Sendrick driving past Justin Allgaier on an overtime restart to win the championship. On Sunday afternoon, the NASCAR Cup Series Championship was decided in thrilling fashion. Chase Elliott worked his way from the last starting position to beat Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, and Denny Hamlin to win the championship. For Buck TV News, I'm Josh Jarnigan. Welcome to your Buck TV Campus News. I'm Carson Ball. With the flu season currently active alongside of COVID-19, health officials are urging everyone to receive the flu shot to ease some of the spread. If you still need one, ETSU's University Health Center has restocked. Flu shots are now being distributed to students, staff, and faculty. Make sure you take your ETSU ID along with your insurance card. And if you're in, uninsured, the cost is $30 cash only. All patients are required to wear face masks, Walk-ins are accepted. You can call the office to schedule an appointment as well. Due to Thanksgiving break quickly approaching, Bucky's Food Pantry will close starting Friday, November 20th. All requests are to be in by Wednesday, November 18th with final box pickup on Thursday 19th. After Thanksgiving on November 30th, Bucky's Food Pantry returns to the normal Monday through Thursday schedule with the regular hours of operation being from 9 to 2 p.m until Christmas break. Welcome to Buck TV News. I'm Jacob Jansen, bringing you your weekly entertainment news. 
Despite our unorthodox semester, ETSU is still hosting its fall concert featuring country music singer Brett Young. Students, faculty, and staff can watch virtually or with their friends in approved ETSU meetup locations in the DP Culp Student Center on Friday, November 13th at 7 p.m. Reservations must be made prior to the event given the limited number of spots available. To register for the virtual concert or in-person meetup, visit etsu.edu slash concerts. With the most wonderful time of the year right around the corner, the Pinnacle Speedway and Lights is ready to kick off its 24th annual light show. The Speedway has even more lights and includes an alternate route that offers visitors a lap around the world's fastest half mile. After the four mile trek passing through two million lights, guests can stroll through the Christmas Village located in the infield. The season starts tonight and runs through January 2nd from 6 to 10 p.m. Tickets range from $20 to $125 depending on vehicle size and can be purchased at bristolmotorspeedway.com.